What's up boys and girls? We are here to talk about one of my favorite things, the most important tool you have in your outdoor arsenal. Your knife. There are two main kinds of knives. Stainless steel knives like this lovely buck knife and carbon steel knives like this lovely Mora. The difference between these two knives is not a whole lot, but then again, it is a lot. First of all, carbon steel does not have chromium. Chromium is what protects the knife against oxygen. When oxygen meets steel, it reacts and creates iron oxide. Iron oxide, more commonly known as rust, messes knives up. One of the things about one of these blades is you have to be very careful, especially with a carbon steel blade, to protect it against rust. Why? Because this nice edge, this razor sharp edge, this shave your face edge, I wouldn't recommend shaving your face with it. It hurts. This razor edge gets little particles of oxygen against it. And those little particles of oxygen react with the iron in the steel and create tiny microscopic edged pieces of rust, doling the edge of your blade. One of the ways we remove those tiny little mess ups is with a strop. Now this strop, just a sloppy strop, I haven't really put it up against a piece of wood yet, but it seems to do just fine as long as I put it on a flat surface. So I'll stick it down on a flat surface and I'll just go over it at a 12 degree angle. I put a bo book of matches down there and that's about the right angle and you just go across it very gently. One way and then the other. And you'll see that when you uh, use your knife, you get what's called patina on there. Basically, patina uh, is bitty microscopic tiny little particles of the things that you are cutting get embedded in the pores of the steel and carbon in the blade creating this patina. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if we can get a good shot of that. Eh, maybe focus on the blade. This cheap stupid camera. Anyway, maybe you can make out it but it looks like the blade is stained. It has a little bit of everything that I've cut embedded in the blade. I even recognize some of these little little particles, little stain marks here and here was something that got on their pine sap when I was cutting a pine sap feather stick. I'll show you what a pine sap feather stick is later. Those suckers are amazing. But in order to maintain this knife, never put it away wet. When you wet it, dry it off quickly. Keep it clean, keep it dry. It will maintain a razor sharp edge. This particular knife and most most carbon blade knives have a Rockwell hardness of between 58 and 60 if I remember correctly, which means it's really hard. The hardness of a knife is determined by its tempering and its hardening. They harden the knife and then they temper it. And by tempering it, they make it from a brittle to a more flexible steel. Uh, you don't want brittle steel, otherwise your knife could be like glass. It'll shatter really easily. They temper it in order to make it less brittle. Uh, and now it becomes a beautiful knife that holds an edge very, very well. If you leave it stored for more than a uh, you know, couple days, a couple weeks, just go over it very, very gently on a flat surface and it will uh, remove those tiny particles of rust, any nicks in the blade. I do this after every time I use it and every time I pull it out to take it out again. And it just maintains that razor sharp, clean edge, which carbon steel is so famous for. Carbon steel, wonderful knife, but you gotta take care of it. You can't just let it sit, otherwise it's prone to rust. The other blade most popular made of steel is stainless steel, like this buck knife. I've had this buck knife for probably four years. And look at that, look at that blade. Focus on there, will you, camera? Look at that blade, not a mark on it. It's beautiful. Now, why is that? Stainless steel is made in con combination with about 18% chromium. Chrome, just like the bumper of your car, resists oxide. Rather than the iron interacting with the air and creating iron oxide, the chromium interacts with the oxygen and protects the steel, creating a, 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 a layer of, 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 of chromium oxide. I, maybe I'm not, if, I don't, if I'm not right in that, I'll put it over here, right somewhere here. But the chromium protects the blade 
from oxygen. It also protects the blade from the, the oxygen that's dissolved in water. So it doesn't rust. It stays bright and it stays shiny and beautiful for the life of the blade. Now, chromium is a very brittle metal. Iron is also a brittle metal until it's tempered. So they mix it in there about 18%, like I said. And once they're done hardening and tempering the blade, you get a hardness, a rock will hardness of about 56 to 80. Not as hard as the carbon steel blade, but it does not rust. Now, I love this knife. This is such a perfect knife fits my hand very well. I can make feather sticks for days. Not a big fan of the, I'm not sword fighting. Why do I need the guard? That's the only thing about this knife I don't like. What, what there's, I'm not, I'm not dueling anybody with this knife. I'm not Yuga Montoya here to avenge my father. So I do not like this thing, but I do really, really like the spine on this blade. This blade, 90 degree spine, it sparks a fire still beautifully. The blade itself holds an edge very, very well. I still run it across the strap. Now, the strop, I have always heard, not always heard, when I looked it up to see what to do with it, I was told green for stainless, white for carbon blade. I use it on both. It doesn't seem to make a difference. Not only that, as I'm colorblind, I can't tell if this is green. It looks like gray to me for all I know. So I run it across the gray strop. You go ahead and run it across your green one. Looks gray to me. I run it across there, keep the edge nice and clean, and it's a perfect knife. I've shaved with this knife. Again, mm, ouch. So those are the two main types of steel that you'll find. Carbon steel and stainless steel. Now, if you get either one of your blades a nick or a ding that you just can't get out with a strop, don't try because the, the nick in the blade will actually cut grooves in your leather and ruin your strop. So what you want to get is a whetstone or a water stone. Now, this stone is a whetstone. Uh, very cheap. You probably find this on Amazon for around 8 to $12. But it's got a 1,000 grit on one side and an 800 grit on the other. The 1,000 grit works very well when wet to remove any of those nicks and burrs and anything that may have happened to the blade. If you were cutting a feather stick and you hit it down right into a rock or and nick the blade, if you bent the tip a little bit, you can take it and you can run it along here, little circles, maybe figure eights if you're very nitpicky. Or like what I do, I put it on there and I run it away from the edge until that nick is gone and then I run it across my strop 50 or so times. And that seems to do very well to get rid of those nicks, get rid of those scratches, burrs, whatever you might have gotten on your blade while you're using it. Your knife, the most important tool you have. Take care of it, it'll last forever. That's all I got for you folks. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, share it, whatever. Thank you very much, we'll talk to you later, bye.